Welcome back everyone to a much relieving video. As you can see behind me, you wouldn't think it's relieving that my 944 is up in the air with Jack and Jack stands in the hood up and thing under it and a bunch of fluid underneath of it. You wouldn't think that's relieving. You wouldn't think it's relieving that there's a bunch of oil all over the underside of my car. You wouldn't think that was relieving. Well, I was over here looking. I thought it was my oil filter housing because there's a bunch of oil around it. My dad came over and touched my filter. And lo and behold, somehow, some way, the filter became loose. Yeah. Crisis averted. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. He said maybe vibrations because the car vibrates a lot. But that's the issue, thankfully. Well, it just said file repairing and file repaired on the GoPro. So hopefully the last clip was okay. Anyway, little fun fact about the 944. Uh, since I'm out here, I want to take these wheel locks off. Now the wheel locks actually have a standard key you insert into the slot and you rotate like so and come right out. Pretty cool little fact. Um, I'm taking them off because the two times that I've had the rear tires changed, um, yeah, two of the times, two of the three times I've had the rear tires changed, that back uh, right one is always a pain for everyone trying to get to it and i always have to go into the shop and play with it for like five minutes while we're waiting on like while i'm while they're trying to change my tires to get it fixed so i'm just going to take these off there's really no need for me to have them no one's going to steal the wheels off of my car it's either at my house or at a store or at my work like it's just you know don't steal them but it's not going to happen so there's no need for me to have uh, wheel locks so we're good we're kosher, we're cooking peanut oil, just gotta get that last one off. I already got the other two on the other side off. Now, also fun little fact about the 944, you guys probably would have known if you've been following the channel for a while, I think I've taken videos of me taking the wheels off. These lug nuts are actually magnesium. They are not like steel or any type of other material lug nut. They're stupidly light. I wonder if these are the same because they're definitely some type of alloy of some sort, some type of metal. Um, they're super light as well. I mean, they're you can't demonstrate weight on camera, but they're light. They're light. I wonder if these are magnesium as well. Just out of curiosity, I might research that later. But yeah, uh, the 944 is okay. I'm going to be adding some oil in soon to make sure she is all topped off and ready to go. Hopefully it didn't lose too much and didn't damage anything. I didn't hear any like lifter tick or anything like that, so we should be good. But uh, yeah, the oil filter is back on, lubricated and tightened. Car's back on the ground, very polleny. I need to wash her very, very badly. I've also got new social media stickers coming in soon. They should be here within a couple of days. I think they shipped yesterday. Um, so that's exciting. I also got some for the Evo as well. I also, uh, so I got the Instagram sticker, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on there, follow me on all those things. Um, my public Facebook page, obviously. I, I, they're the same name for both. I don't know if you guys are... So I tried to search it up. Um, it came up, I don't I don't know if it's coming up like my actual Facebook thing, but my Facebook page is also Bobby Custer or Lamborghini Kid. So add me on there. So, surprisingly, I was only a quart low on oil. Somehow, someway. Anyway, y'all want to see a little funny thing about the 944 pop-ups? Well, if they're all the way down and you lower them just a little bit more, you can see the motor will get upset. You can see it's just angry. And then if you go ahead and open them by spinning them the correct way, you can see the mechanism right there is moving. They will, in fact, do something crazy that I've never seen happen. They take control and just, you can't make the 944 sleepy and that makes me sad. Here's what I'm thinking now. I'm thinking it is time for the reliable daily to get a to get a well-needed bath that's a lot of pollen that's why i'm sniffling if you guys have heard that um because of all that pollen um but while the evo was in the shop you know the 944 got got driven every day and got a little dirty so let's go and clean her up she deserves it all right well guys the 944 is looking mighty purdy with all the gnats flying around gathering the well what's not left of the water because it's not on there anymore apparently they think it is though got the vacuum Cleaned all the inside out, all that fun jazz. Got the rear end as well. Got the little trim pieces. 
My 4.4 is looking nice. And per day, I can actually see myself in it. That's cool. Anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm actually trying to repair the door jam switches so that my interior lights come on whenever the door opens. Sometimes they work when the passenger door opens, but I've never, I've maybe once had them work when the driver door opens. So I'm trying to clean it off with some electrical cleaner and see if I can get it to make some better contact to work. If that works, I'm gonna upgrade all the interior lights and stuff to LED because that'd be awesome. Anyway, this is the door jam switch completely taken out. There's those two electrical connectors on either side of that plastic piece. Um, I cleaned those off. There's also, it appears to be a contact right there, that little needle piece. I'm assuming that's what basically recognizes, a, oh, Volkswagen Audi, <laughs> that the door is actually like, you know, on or closed or not. But basically how you take this out here, there's one Phillips uh, head right in there where those wires are sticking out of. Those wires are the ones that attach to these. After that, super simple. Uh, obviously because it's shaped like this, you kind of have to like pull it up uh, towards you. But I'll also, I'm also going to take out the passenger side and clean it as well. Uh, hopefully get these things working. Well guys, right now I've actually got the passenger side a door jam switch working. You can see I have the light on back here. I also have it up in the cabin area but as you can see it's a little bit temperamental so if i just play with it a little bit and kind of knock it off track let me see if i can do it again oh there's a point where sometimes it won't come on there we go see so i'm thinking i just might need new door, door jam switches or maybe I can take this out and try to clean it up and make the spring work a little bit better on it because there's a little spring on the back side of that that makes it pop out. Maybe that's what's going bad. I think that other one's just entirely bad though because I don't think it's ever worked. Well, if we just hold on here a minute, this is a completely different switch. Huh. How does this one work? Oh, there's a little connector right there that clips in so that the switch gets twisted doesn't make good connection I see huh well it's not even working now I think I might need that screw to actually ground it or something I'm not entirely sure when I took the screw out it stopped working uh well let's let's find out oh guys sure enough screwing the screw and actually threw some sparks and it started working so I'm gonna say it's the screw that actually like kind of grounds it I don't know how electricity works I think that's how it works but yeah it's on and it it's not it's staying on, it's not coming off. Cool, all right, well, let's see if that's the issue with the other side. All right, so I cleaned this one back up. I'm gonna try and put the screw in and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, it flickered. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, what does that mean? I don't know. Well guys, this is indeed the moment of truth. I got the switch in. I actually removed, I'll show you in the light here, they removed the little rubber bit because I think it was disrupting the ground. Um, basically there's little needles that stick down. I think I showed you guys that. I took my knife and basically just scraped kind of the, the, the crap off of it to destroy the connection. But let's see if I push this switch and if that light turns off and stays on. All right, switch off gosh darn it it's not every time but you can play with it and get it to turn on i think i need a new switch to be fair ah that sucks well time to invest in a new switch well i just washed it and it's already coated in pollen again it's absolutely disgusting that sucks. It also snowed yesterday. We'll, we'll disregard all that. Today's a new day. Anyway, let's uh, make sure the filter's not backing itself off again so that I don't pour oil all over the place again. It is. Or I'm just able to tighten it more. <clears throat> yeah, it's as tight as it's going to go. All right. Well, I need to be checking that periodically because I don't want that to happen again because I don't want to go low on oil because that would be bad. That would be not okay for the engine. Anyway... I also bought some stuff for the 944 yesterday while I was at work. I got some new wiper blades and also got some LED interior lights, which will be super nice once I get that switch fixed permanently. You basically just have to play with it. Um, those wiper blades, so I've had these Bosch icons on here 
for three years. Ever since I bought this car, like a day or two after I bought this car, I went and picked up these wiper blades. Um, they've lasted for three years, and honestly, it's just kind of like the battery situation. They're still fine, but I'm probably better off if I replace them. Um, the reason why I went with the super cheap, like, clean view conventional blades, other than the beam blade, because my old boss I had, I actually worked at Advance in Bel Air. Um, my old boss there said... Because this this misses the entire center of the wind, like this bit right here is not making contact with the windshield. Um, he said that the conventional blades might actually be better for that. So I'm going to give it a whirl and see how it goes. Anyway, let's go to Tim Hortons and meet Liam. Beautiful. Alright, well guys, I think it's about time to introduce you to Liam's STI, which is right ahead of me. That is his new car. Um, going to be taking a ride in it today, see what it's like. I've already ridden in it before, but it was a snowy day. He just got it properly aligned up. He also got the plates on it. So we're going to take a ride in it. Super excited for that. Super excited to actually do a video on it because I've been waiting since he bought it. <laughs> Alright, so we're at Liam's house. I just replaced the wiper blades that I've had for three years with these nice good old conventional blades which actually look like they're going to work. The center is touching indeed. Now it's time to do the lights. I also put the little rubber piece back on that so that, uh, you know, I don't think that was actually causing any issues so I put that back on. But I got some LED lights. I got the backlight popped out here. You can see how old and dusty that that, that that's the light bulb. <laughs> These are going to be so much better. All right, so I got the light back there done. Now it's just time for this light. Basically, these things just kind of pull out. They're, I think there's supposed to be little tabs that are extended, but mine are probably broken. If not, you just literally pull this down. There's a little metal clip up in there that'll slide off. And you got access to the light. If you guys ever want to change yours. Well, I had a little spark from up there, and all of a sudden, neither light was working. And I found out, you know, my fuse blew. Thankfully, the 944 has a little handy-dandy tester right here to test to prove my theory is correct by not lighting up. It's bad. So, thankfully, I got a replacement. It's a 25 amper, but hey, it'll be okay. There's only supposed to be a 15 there. This is a 20 anyway. That's a really cool design, honestly. A yes. little fuse tester built in. Yes. I've never seen that before. Anyway, wow. German engineering. You can see here, completely interesting. this is a good fuse. And the light lights up. Is it working? Yep. I don't have blinds, so I can't see. Cool. I'll definitely show a nighttime shot of this, but that is very white. There's also a good old light back here now as well. You guys can see down in there. Yep, they're both working. We're clear for takeoff, fuse repaired.
<laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Welcome to Liam's STI. Welcome to my STI that you haven't seen yet that I've owned for almost three months now. <laughs> and you haven't seen because, well, first, we got a ginormous blizzard that swept through the entire country. <laughs> and then, um, then this thing became not legal anymore. And then my rack and pinion decided to just completely kill itself. It, all of the bearings were completely shot in it and it was leaking fluid everywhere. <laughs> so I was going down the road one day with our buddy Dylan, who you haven't seen yet. I was driving. And I was going a little quick, I went to go hit a corner and went, and I was like, oh no, I was like, I'm going to die if I keep driving this thing. So I stopped for a while, got the rack and pinion fixed, got a belt on the power steering fixed. Now this thing is amazing and I just got it aligned today, so now I'm driving it. Yes. It's great. Oh, it's also legal, so it's registered, so. It's just not inspected. It, uh, no, it's not <laughs> Same. But, yeah, this is my STI that you, uh, haven't seen yet. And, and Rock Blocks, if you're watching this, I'm the one that got him to get the mud flaps. Yeah! <laughs> I did be, some... I this, did some is, this should be your, uh, <laughs> I did your some, freaking thumbnail. Just... <laughs> okay. I did some branding for Rock Blocks without getting paid by them. Hey, you're welcome. Actually, no, 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 no. Come to the front real quick. I got your thumbnail for you right here. Huh. If I were to get a Subaru, what do you guys think I would get? The Baja. <laughs> yeah, the Baja. Baja's freaking cool, man. They're like Subi trucks. Like I might. Bed in the back of I'm thinking about getting a third car, either a Baja or an Impreza uh, hatch. Something cheap that I don't have to care about say, because the your... daily that I bought, I have to care about. I was say, is this your announcement for uh, a third vehicle That's, in your lineup? Not really an, an announcement, but it's a high possibility. <laughs> wow! Wow! Amazing! Yes. All right, talk us through your child. What do you want me to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I feel. You don't know what to talk about. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Let's do what you pop up the, the stick your hand in the the oven here. Take a look. Oh, it's nice. It's actually bar. really warm in there. That's nice. It is an actual EJ25. It's not an EJ20 like somebody just kind of put STI stuff all over it. This is a legit STI. I don't know how the heck I found it for the price I did, but I did. Um, Good deal time. I got. We're not sponsored by Mishimoto. We have a friend who is, but I got Mishi parts. Um, I got a couple other things on here that I forget and can't name because I forget them. But, um, You're like me. You don't know a whole lot about upgrades. You just It's just kind of done, you know? Yeah, it's just kind of done. I'd There's... like to know more about what is done to this. I mean, like, I have a full build sheet. Like, this thing has Weisco pistons and a bunch of other stuff replaced on it. The engine was... Belts replaced. Yeah, the engine was completely redone and everything. Oh, yeah, no, this thing actually, um, the engine has about 47,000 miles on it. The chassis has 193,000. But the chassis has, like, no rust. This thing is cleaner than... My lab yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say cleaner than Bobby's large man, but you know, <laughs> cleaner than Bobby's room after large man's finished with it. Well, that's not very clean, is the problem. No, large man kind of he does his best. Makes triple X horsepower. It makes 350 horsepower. I don't so know what uh, is giving it 350 horsepower because these things come stock with 300. It is it is spark air and fuel. That's what's giving it 350 horsepower. Something to well, do with yeah, those three I things. Mean, like, you know what's happening inside of the engine is giving it 350 horsepower. You know the the suck squeeze bang blow. But... <laughs> That's going sideways. Yeah, the sideways. The the this, not the this. The this because it, I have it an EJ25. Does the it's box called a boxer mission. engine does, for all of you that don't know? It's the box mission. The bo hey, box look. mission. What's turbo? Wuhan War Whistler. <laughs> Looks all rusty because that's the hot end. The hot bit. The hot bit. Oh, that's actually, that's my turbo. That's the back of the turbo. Oh yeah, there's the front and the, 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 that's the exhaust port. That's the exhaust side. That's my what? That's the side. He's also got an interschooler sprayer as well. Which I do is have an interschooler. I'm sure yeah, interschooler. Stock, interschooler prayer. Yeah. Because <laughs> dyslexia is great. I love it. You know what this fluid is? That's so I can see some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made a discovery. We have found a blinker fluid. It is this. It helps you see because you blink. You see, it's washer fluid is blinker fluid. Evan discovered this. <laughs> He's the man. He yeah! cracked the code. Well, I guess I'm driving now, so this is a, a change of events. Oh gosh, you're short. Eee! Yeah, just Bobby. Well, 
this is a different view. Now, something cool about this car, it's actually got the differential that you can adjust. So if I turn the manual mode here that I failed to do. What? Did I? Okay, I did. Twice. Okay. There's actually a little thing here that you can change how fast the diff locks up, which is super duper cool. You can actually oh, fully lock the cool. diff. Yeah, it's big cool. It's and awesome. you turn it back off into auto mode. I absolutely <laughs> use that in the winter. Yes. Um, <laughs> even though I lost a ton of traction because, you know, my tires are not okay. <laughs> But they're going bald. They're balding. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're a little middle-aged. You know how it is. You see intercooler water spray, too. Dead. Gotta make sure the intercooler yeah! is cold. <laughs> <laughs> smooth that's the thing but it feels very aggressive Ha, 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 ha. 